One, two, three. Hello everyone, how are you today? I've got some orangey goldy colour paper today and some scissors and some sticky tape. You can use any paper you like for this or light cardboard as long as you can cut it easily. So I'm taking one sheet of my paper and I'm going to cut it down the middle in a zigzag shape. So I'm going to go zigzag that way and 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 then a little bit back. Can you guess what I'm making? So I've now got two bits of zigzaggy paper. That's right, I'm making a crown. So what I'm going to do is take some sticky tape and if you've got a long bit of paper, you may find you only need one bit of paper, but I need two to get round to my head. So I'm sticking it together on both sides. So there's the bit of paper that will go round my head like this to make a crown. How does that look? Then I've got to take it off and stick it together. So I'm going to rest the scissors on there so it doesn't move and get some sticky tape and stick it together. This bit's a bit easier if you've got somebody to help you to hold it while you stick it and make sure it fits your head. So here we are. How does my crown look? Does that look good? Do I look like a special person? Like a king perhaps? Today's story is from the first bit of the Bible. The bit that was written a long, long time before Jesus was born. And it describes how the Israelites got a king. They had decided they wanted a king and God had agreed that they could. And God talked to one of their leaders called Samuel and said, you need to go to Jesse's house and find the new king because you'll find him there. So Samuel went off to Jesse's house and Jesse had lots of boys. He was a dad who had lots of sons. And he said to Jesse, I've come to choose which one of your sons is going to be the new king. Can you bring your sons and show them to me? And Jesse was really excited about that. He wanted to have a king as a son. So he brought the first one in and Samuel looked at him and God said to Samuel, not this one. So Samuel said, sorry, Jesse, not this one. Then number two came in and Jesse thought this must be the one because he was strong too. And no, Samuel said, no, that's not the one. Then Jesse brought the third one and he said, oh, this is a really good one. Hopefully he chooses this son. Do you know what? Samuel said no to the third one and the fourth one and the fifth one and the sixth one and the seventh one. Every time God told Samuel that it wasn't the right person. And then Jesse said, that's all of them. And Samuel said, are you sure, Jesse? Are you sure you haven't got any more sons? And Jesse said, well, the little one's out looking after the sheep, but he doesn't look like a king. He's only little and weak compared to the others. But Samuel said to Jesse, can I meet him, please? And do you know what? When they called the young boy David in from the sheep and Samuel looked at David, God told Samuel, this is the one. This is the one who's going to be the king. So that's strange. David had seven big brothers who were all strong and looked like kings, but God didn't choose them. He knew that David was going to be the best one. So Samuel said, this is David who's going to be the king, and he anointed him. And you know, when God looks at us, she can see that sometimes we're going to be something that we would never dream we could be or do, because God knows all about us and loves us very, very much. Do you think you could make a crown? Do you think you could make yourself look like a king? because you're going to be something special when you grow up. You just don't know what it is yet. It's been good seeing you today. 
You keep safe and well, and I'll see you soon. Bye.